is a Manhattan bound four train. The next stop is 176th <laughs> Street. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Right now, headed to work. Yeah. laid and I'm trying to let my baby hair dry and um, yeah much of that my scarf on that like I said it's not too too cold out in my crocs on <laughs> yeah got my crocs on um not much has really been going on like I said previously well I didn't say previously anything but yeah not much has been going on um mainly just staying focused and letting this credit build you know like I said the building that you know Chad and I are like crossing our fingers to get into you know it, it's it's still there we still have the option to go in there and I just I'm so excited I just a Manhattan I feel like God held train. out the next for us for a reason um, <clears throat> honestly I haven't stand been looking, clear of the closing doors please I honestly haven't been looking that far I look for an apartment right now and I know probably I'll be denied and why waste money because nowadays they got application fees up the yin yang brokers fee and then on top of that other shit I ain't got time to be spending $150 to be told uh sorry you didn't get the apartment uh -uh, I ain't with it <laughs> I can do better I can do so much more with the money you know what I'm saying and um well yeah I can do a lot better with the money I know I do bad with money when it comes to my habit of smoking weed, but, you know, I'm trying to work on that, too. And, um, I know stop, when I stop smoking cigarettes, that's to save a few dollars, believe it or not, you know, every day. Well, I was never a pack cigarette smoker, but I would smoke maybe about six, seven cigarettes tops throughout the day. And um, I don't know if you guys know what Lucy's are, but they're individual cigarettes that you could buy by themselves, like 50 cents or 75 cents. So in the morning time, I'll spend $3, then I'll come home, spend $3. So it's nice having that little bit this of change. This is a Manhattan bound I can say, four train. You know? The next stop is 167th Street. This is 167th Street. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Oh no, that's 170th Street, oh, my dumb ass. 167th Street is the next stop. But um, yeah. Take this train right here to 125th Street, and then I get on the sixth train, and I take the sixth train to Hunts Point, and then I'm at work. So it's it's kind of stupid because I take the four train right to one. I take it to 125th Street, and I pass 149th Street to get on the sixth train to get back on 149th Street. So I just basically take the sixth train to go backwards so I can get off closer. Like I can also take the D train 
to 161st Street, Yankee Stadium, and then I can take a bus straight there. But I don't know if you guys, New York City, if y'all know, like, buses ain't shit. So, <laughs> them niggas be driving like they don't got nowhere to go. They be driving them shits like this. That that bus is theirs, or like, <laughs> like I said, they ain't got no place to go. Stopping at yellow lights. They be stopping at a stop. Ain't nobody even at the bus stop and shit. So it's kind of like, what the fuck, nigga? I got some place to be. You know, so that's whatever. But after this stop right here is 167th Street and 161st Street, 149th Street, then I get off. So, um, yeah, I'll be back when I get to 121st Street, guys, so you guys can see me get off the train and transfer. Okay. Bye. This is one thing I hate <clears throat> about sitting on the train. When you're in a rush, look, we still sitting at the platform. still sitting here. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. It's like, I got some place to be. <laughs> you know? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, that's no foundation. Let me cover up my nose. It's actually pretty decent. There's nobody really on the train like that. I feel like as long as there's like right at this time, as long as like you're not like next to me, like right here, I'm okay with that, you know, because we never know what somebody may have or whatever. And taking public transportation as it is is a gamble. You know, usually I take a cab to work, but. <laughs> A bitch is a little short on funds today. But, um, yeah, usually I take a cab to work because it's only $12 and I'm worth it, you know? So, again, I'll be back, guys. Want to see some scenery of the Bronx? Let me see. I don't want anybody to take my seat. I think it's kind of cool that I pass by it every day, but I can get two shits about the Yankees, but, you know, for some people, that's pretty nostalgic, being able to pass by Yankee Stadium every single day. So, I hope you guys enjoy your little clip. <laughs> but, yeah, um, again, the next stop is 149 I'll get, I'll, um, Grand Concourse. Well, you know what? Actually, it's so funny because I want you guys to witness this shit. I'm going to sit here at 161st Street every single morning. There's like a delay, and I sit here for so long. Look at this shit. Watch this. Usually in the morning time, 
during the coronavirus to slow down. But if it wasn't the coronavirus, let me tell you, this shit would be so bad. Like, the phone would be right here, and I would be like this, guys. Good morning. Oh, y'all see the pause? Let me back up. Your skin looks good back here. Right here. I wear strips if I don't get individual lashes, just in case anybody is wondering. Glam, I'm still waiting on my package bill. I need some new lashes. You see, my shit is falling apart. Now, Chad had got me some lashes, believe it or not, the other day. But when I say that three shits look like beginner lashes, I was like, hey, <laughs> my real lashes is this leg. This is cute, but no, I need some length. But yeah, I got one more stop. The next stop is my stop, and then I'll be, I'll be to work. I'm in a tunnel right now. But if I did, I would have ran just like the lady in front of me was running. That means I just missed the train. Ain't shit I could do about it. I missed it. Oh, wait for the next one. It's say three minutes for the next train. So that's not too bad. So right now I'm at um, 125th Street Station. Now, let me tell you a little story. I'll be trying to get on the train a little bit early because I don't be want to get on the train with the girl I work with because we got this new girl and um I don't know if she ever watched this girl she was on the nosy side she be asking mad questions so in the morning car don't be kind of buzz killing me <laughs> so I'll be trying to get on the train before her <laughs> so yeah I don't know if y'all familiar with 125th Street Station but this is 125th Street on the 4th by the 6th line this is Lexington because you can take the 125th Street Station you got the 2 train the 2 train and then you got the D train got a 125th Street. The AC got a 125th Street. So this is the Lexington Avenue line. When you go upstairs here, there's like, uh, um, not really much because it's the Lexington Avenue. If you want to go shopping and shit like that, you got to go down towards like where you can get on the D train at, like Victoria's Secret Shops and all that shit up here. It's the hood upstairs. You go upstairs, it's a McDonald's and crackheads. But yeah, it's the platform. 25th Street Station. The um the indicator says that I have two minutes left for my train to come. It's currently I don't know what time it is. Focus. What the fuck is that? Sorry guys, I don't know what happened. Okay, here we go. I auto focus, you know. I'm gonna get a um a camera. It's just finding a good camera, I guess you could say it. I don't want to get a good camera and honestly leave it in that fucking shelter because them niggas be coming in the room doing room checks and shit like that. And sometimes I be like, what the fuck, is something missing? So, whatever. I don't want this video to be too long. So, again, I'm waiting for my it's train. I'm waiting my train coming right now as we speak. I'm so happy. That's my train, guys. The sixth train to Helen Bay Park. Now, I take this, like, I think six stops. I don't even know how many stops I take this. But I know I take it easy. Seven stops. This is a quick ride. It's like 10 minutes tops. But um, yeah, I do that and I'm at work and you know, that's that. And it looks like I'm on the train by myself today, by the grace of God. So, get up. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm lucky. The whole road to Damn, this lady almost got stuck in the damn shit. But um, yeah, I got the whole thing to myself pretty much. 
So yeah, this morning Chad had rolled me a little doobie. So um, you know, now that she's not on the train, I can um, you know, just feel more comfortable in it. And it's nothing really against her. I just got used to my own routine every morning, doing my own thing. And she came along, you know, it disrupted it. I mean, if if y'all think I'm wrong, let me know in the comments section. You hear him tell me we're gonna be held in the station momentarily? That'd be the BS in the morning I'll be talking about. I'll show you guys while we have a second to stand here. I don't know if you guys know about New York City transportation, but yeah, this is Third Avenue train station in the Bronx. Third Avenue, 138th Street on the 6th train. Sorry about the view. Mm, sorry about that dude, too. He ain't even paying attention. Oh, yeah, you hear it tomorrow. We're going to be in the station momentarily. From that light right there. See that light? That light needs to be green. Oh, you tell me to step this thing, too. Oh yeah, it's the train. It seems pretty empty today, believe it or not. Usually, it's pretty crowded in the morning. Um, I'm going to the flash so you guys can see it a little bit better. Yeah, it's pretty empty, right? Can't be too mad with that, with the coronavirus and everything like that. This is my train, you know? I feel pretty good that it's not a whole bunch of people.
Tons Point Avenue. I made it. So now that I do that, I go out the turnstile. Out the turnstile. The police were standing right there. You see them behind me? They right there standing there ready to get a nigga. So yeah. I go and then look at all of this, but I just ran up them steps. I'll show you guys where I am at now. Don't nobody come to find me and kill me, please. Please. I don't got nobody over here. But yeah, this is where I get off. And I start my journey to work. I'm going to pan around so you guys can see really quickly that I, um, I walk right here. And sometimes if I feel like it, I'll stop at that store. But... They really don't be having shit in there like that, you know? Let me go in here, because I kind of want something right now. Just because I suggested it. Now I want something from the damn store. Let me see, do I got a dollar bill on me? I think I do. Hold on, guys. I'm going into, going into the bodega. Hi, that's cool, pay, papi. Is that corn right there? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I didn't find out that I put some shit in here. I can do a honey bun today. It was good the other day. Oh, you see? <sighs> got a honey bun. I don't know. I just got a taste for it today. So, yeah, of course, there's a line in here. I just wanted to run in here and run out real quick. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Bobby. Yes, yes. Yeah, I threw that dollar for him. I gotta go. You know what I'm saying? I got to go to work. I'm gonna take a book back real quick, throw my bun in there, and then I'm ready to go. Hey, cutie. Look at the little dog, guys. Ain't he too cute? Hi. <laughs> He's too cute. Bye-bye. <laughs> First thing in the morning, seeing something furry besides Charm's ass. You know, it's kind of cool. But I'm here. I am. Um, hold on, guys. I'm trying to get situated. I don't want to walk my bag open and shit. But, um, yeah. I enjoyed bringing you guys along with me this morning. I hope it wasn't too, too boring. I mean, um, wasn't much really going on. Again, I hope everybody's new year was pretty okay. On the train, it was not so much talking that I could do because I could barely be heard. But, um, uh, Pretty much for New Year's, Chad and I, we didn't go anywhere. We stayed home. Um, it was pretty disappointing. We didn't do anything at all. We had a little toast for 12 o'clock, and I uh, FaceTimed my mother and my sister, and that was really it. There was nothing more. It was pretty boring, you know? And that's one of the things that I said I wanted to do this year. I just would like to incorporate some more excitement into my life into our lives so that uh, we could be better, you know? I really don't want a year like I had last year. <sighs> Look at these steps. <laughs> I'm crazy, right? <laughs> and the thing that I could, if I would've took the bus, the bus, right, it drops me off on the other side of this where I'm really walking at on the other side of this. Um, yeah. Last year with Corona and everything, it was very draining. I worked the whole coronavirus and pandemic. By the grace of God, I was still employed, but you know, a, a chick didn't get nothing for it. I was out there exposing myself. I didn't get no bonuses or nothing. So that was pretty disappointing. But um, as far as chat is concerned, I just, I cannot, I refuse to have a year like I had last year. It was draining on my soul, my mind, my body. And I can only imagine what it did to him, you know? Where there's a home where there's no love and there's only brokenness, there's only so much that you can do but just pray, you know? And I pray and I, and I ask God to bring us closer even though we in a situation that's designed to like tear us apart as sad as it is, you know? And uh, whoever somebody has said to me 
in the comments you should take what I deserve again I'm gonna say this again I'm not taking what I deserve nigga I'm gonna take what I'm worth and what I'm gonna pay for after my year is up I have to pay this out of my pocket I don't get public assistance I don't get none of that you know what I'm saying I don't get food stamp so the nigga in the comments that was like take your little $600 stimulus check and go you wanna hear something crazy Chad didn't even get no stimulus check last year because he owed back money so we didn't even get it so ha motherfucker I didn't even get that little extra bit of money so ha 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 my ass so yeah I usually stop right here depending on what time it is in the morning time and I um I stop and I yeah so I stop right here I um uh, I was about to take my mask off so I could light my blunt but I can't find my light I could have swore I put my light in my damn bag and shit but yeah it's 8 15 I'm supposed to be to work for 8 30 a.m so I feel like I'm doing pretty good with the time you know what I'm saying them bitches in there don't be getting to work till like 8 45 9 o'clock so chad be like why the fuck are you stressing that shit them bitches do not be getting in on time and i'm like of course you would tell me don't rush your ass supposed to be to work at eight you don't need to have till eight ladies if you smoke get you a glove and this bitch she invented some things that it's like a ring you put it on your finger well, I don't know if she invented it. You put it on your finger and it helps you, uh, you know, not burn your nail or whatever. But yeah, here's the other steps I walked down. So, sorry about the camera. It's all over the place, guys. But yeah, I just walked down here and I'm um, in the morning time and I had to work. And it's a, a little distance, but when you go over the bridge, it's not too, too bad. It's like, you know, like I said, it's not too, too bad. got my little glove on and then by the time I get to work I always stop a block before and I'll be playing that shit I always stop a block before but um yeah again I hope everybody has a great morning and I don't care about no new year's resolutions I hope that everybody just has an awesome fantastic year and if you did plan for something I hope you go for it and I hope it comes true man we all deserve to get what we want out of life and um, you, as my subscribers or as the people that watch, you know, I just want everybody to win. I'm no hater. I want us all to win. I really do. If you got a YouTube channel or you're thinking about doing YouTube, listen, all I got is a phone. <laughs> you understand? Everybody got to start someplace. Just go for it, you know? I apologize if I don't see my tooth and I don't give a fuck because I wear my mask all day. So why put it in and waste my damn time? Yep. I don't know if I showed y'all the block of my job. <sighs> yeah. Again, this video probably going to be long and drawn out. But thank you for rocking out with me. There was points of silence and this and shit. I don't know. <laughs> but um, I just miss you guys. I love talking to you guys. That's one of my trucks. Well, not one of my trucks. One of my company trucks. Um, Oh, this shit went out. So that means it's time for me to put it out. Because... When it come to work, so let don't play. When it come to getting this cheese, I don't play. I'm getting this money. And I ain't trying to go in there and disrespect nobody, smelling like nothing or anything. When I go upstairs to my desk, I got an array of sprays and shit like that. So I don't offend now name that nigga up in here. But um hold on guys. I'm trying to take off this stinky glove. Yeah, I give you the rundown. Got my glove down. I put my scarf over my mouth and then I'm done. Because, yeah, usually in the morning time, what I do is I make the coffee. Because everybody drink coffee in there. So, we order coffee from Dunkin' Donuts and I just prepare the coffee in the morning. And, uh, yeah, I be walking in there with my scarf on and what. But, um, I don't want to go in there with the phone on you guys. I love you guys so much. If you're new, hit the subscribe button come along with me i just be doing random stuff i'm on the road to getting the apartment i'm on the road to 500 subscribers it's a good feeling it's a good day i hope everybody enjoys their hump day and uh, if i don't see you guys before the week is up have a great weekend but more than likely i'm going to try to come back with chad don't forget to like comment subscribe hit that subscribe button show your girl some love help me grow
I love you guys so much. Peace.